What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. So today we're actually going to talk about a modern version of a patato style tumbao. Oh yeah. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. The new subscribers. Welcome to a Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of y'all already know that, but just had to welcome you to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we upload videos two times a week, normally every Monday and definitely Definitely, most definitely, every Thursday. Something new, something different, and it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much, man. I know I, I sound like some garbage right now, man. I'm still feeling under the weather, but we gotta pump these videos out, man. I want you guys engaged in this, man. I love it when you guys comment. I love it when you guys have opinions and yeah, man, I, I, today I may get some, some, you know, some hate because, you know, Patato is sacrilegious, you know, you can't really change anything that he's done, but he's changed the game and sometimes you just got to take it and modernize it, uh, but with love and respect. So yes, we're going to talk about a modern version of the Patato style tumbao. I am highly influenced by Patato. I think everybody is. If you don't know who Patato is... Yeah, I think I think everybody, you know, should go to the library and read a book or something. Uh, but in all honesty, I did a video on him. You could, I'll link it up somewhere. Also, a lot of people, you know, talk about Patato. Patato was a trailblazer, man. He he changed the game. Did two congas, three congas, five congas, four congas, eight congas, whatever. He was the melodic king. He was a bass player. He was a dancer. This guy was the goat. I think if that is somebody we could put up there, it's him. You know, he he kind of transcended this instrument into new heights. So uh, doing this, I'm doing this with a lot of respect. But sometimes, you know, you just got to take what they taught us and make it your own. And this is obviously influenced so much by him, but it has a little bit more slaps. It still has a nice groove to it and a nice little, you know, melodic aspect when it comes to playing it. And if you want to see a great version of this type of tumbao in its purity, I would say, Edgardo actually did one. I will link that video somewhere here too. That video, I'm telling you, it was money. The way he explains it, the way he counts it, every little detail, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's Edgardo Cabon from Dance Papi's channel. Man, that video is so money. That video, I'm telling you, it's one of the best videos I've seen. He is an unbelievable teacher too, man. Look up to you, Edgardo, seriously. So the tumbao I wanna talk to you about today is this. Just got to love it. You got to love it, man. You gotta love it. So let me explain what I'm doing. So I kind of start this tumbao at the best place that I uh, kind of start. It's actually, it's before the one, it's right on the four. So you're gonna start it off with three opens, right, left, right. After doing those three opens, you're going to do a close slap with your right hand and then a close slap with your left hand. So to put that together, it's gonna to sound like this. After 
after doing that close slap with your left hand, you're going to do two opens on your tumba. So to hear it up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Now here's kind of the modern tricky part you could say. What you're going to do is a close slap with your left hand, then a ghost note with your right hand, and then you're gonna do an open with your left hand. So it's kind of going to sound like this. So to put everything together up to this point, it's going to sound like this. After doing that open, we're gonna go again into some modernness, and I'm going to do basically a ghost note with my right hand, and then I'm going to do a close slap with my right hand, and then a close slap with my left hand. That ghost note is just really kind of like, it's es maña para mi. It's just a reaction that I get as an anticipation to do the close slap. It just comes naturally for me, but I always kind of try to break it down to that small detail that's helped me to kind of navigate to the next move. So ghost note, close slap, close slap. Then you're gonna go two opens on your tumba. So to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Did you catch that last ghost note? See, those little details, man, they, they help you kind of like get to the next place you wanna get to, you know? So they help me and I always try to catch that little detail to just kind of expose it and bring light to it. And really what starts the whole tumbao again after doing those two opens, you're going to do a close slap with your left hand and then do those first three opens. Like I said, I started around the four, so it lets you know how to kind of start the groove again. So to put that part, it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together, it's gonna to sound like this. Now to let the groove flow, it's gonna sound like this. It's kind of crazy. Now, here's a little hack on the clave, okay? So, normally this beat is played on two, three song clave. Now, because it's doing so many hits on the tumbas, the place that I found that's a great hack, like I said, I'm starting the groove on four, kind of, you know, those first three hits. That's around the four. So, if we're gonna count to one, it's one, two, three, Four. So the best place I found to kind of trigger you on where the clave is gonna be, since it's two, three, so clave, look. All right, let's catch it, right? So it's gonna be like this.
So that first tumba hit is actually going to hit on the second hit on the two side of the clave. So just the second open. So to kind of get the idea, it's going to sound like this. Now the second time you hit the tumba, the second time around that you're going to hit the tumba, the first hit on the tumba is going to land on the second hit of the three side of the clave. So it's going to sound like this. It's kind of tricky, but it's the only hack I have that can actually land on it. Let's see if you could hear the clave while I play it. So let's see if you could hear it. Kind of crazy, man, but uh, that's that's some patato stuff mixed with some modern stuff, man. You just you just gotta love it. You just gotta love. It. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will definitely see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.